What's all the fuss surrounding 33 million pound Bruno Gimmeries? As rumors of a Newcastle move for Bruno Gimmeries began to first emerge on Monday evening, hits for the Brazilian's Wikipedia page likely saw a sharp spike in the northeast of England. While many of the names linked with a move to Tyneside this January can be considered household, Gimmeries doesn't fit into that category. That's not to say his arrival should be considered anything other than a sizable coup. A quick search on Google will have alerted fans to myriad skills videos compiled from his displays in League One for Lyon, along with stories of some of Europe's major clubs being linked with his signature, including Juventus. They would also have seen the 24-year-old's constant links with Arsenal. A scroll on Twitter would have found a number of Lyon supporters begging the club to hold firm and pleading with him to stay. They know they have a genuine talent. So to do the club. They released a statement on Tuesday categorically denying that any bid had been accepted after it was reported Newcastle had brokered a £33.5 million deal. A relief to the fans of Lyon. And Arsenal. Gunners supporters had originally met the news with exasperation, certain their club had let another long-term target fall into the arms of another club without so much as making a move. That relief has been short-lived however, with news coming late on Thursday evening that Newcastle had finally agreed a £33 million deal with the French side. The player's agent posted on Instagram that he was flying into Belo Horizonte, where Guimarães is currently with the Brazil national team. By Sunday, the deal was sealed. It has been said that Newcastle, a team battling relegation, have landed a player that would not be out of place in many of the Premier League's big six. But what makes Guimarães that special? A look at basic stats suggests that he is not your man for the final third, with just three assists in League One to his name this season, his third in France since arriving from Atletico Paranense in January 2020. He is also yet to find the net this term after scoring three times in the previous campaign. More in-depth analysis of his passing shows his influence on the park, though. In League One this season, no player has completed more through balls, 10, or made more passes into the final third, 150. He is also a tough character defensively, with only Anger's Jimmy Cabot, 147, winning more ground duels than Gimmery's 146 in France's top flight this season. But it's not the numbers that generate the excitement. It's what he does on the pitch. I think his main quality is his passing. He has incredible vision to find through balls in between defenders, says Tom Abatey, host of the football podcast, a channel dedicated to Lyon. He does think fast, reacts quickly and finds space in the blink of an eye. He finds partners in space, even when the pass seems extremely difficult to Bruno play. Bruno is technically gifted, enabling him to dribble out from most situations. He's often the player aimed at for the opposition pressing, and he does end up in complicated situations, which he very often gets out of. As well as improving the level on the pitch, Eddie Howe is all too aware of the need to improve the standards in the dressing room too. Abatey describes Gimmeries as a lovable guy and someone that fans took to quickly. His ability to command respect also makes him a perfect fit in regards to Howe's criteria. You can also add his great leadership skills, he says. He was captain of the Brazilian Olympic team and is often pushed forward as a candidate for captain of Lyon by the fans. He leads by example and is very vocal on the pitch. It helps that he learned French very well and very early on. He was practically fluent within the first six months. In the south of France he has formed a partnership with Maxence Cacquard in the middle of the pitch. In the northeast of England, it could be alongside fellow Brazilian Jolinton that he makes his mark. Thomas Party would have been a great foil for him at the Emirates, Abadi argues. I think that is the best combination for him, to work with another player around him who can defend a little more, he says. He is good defensively, but his real quality is bringing the ball out from the back. He and fellow Brazilian Lucas Paqueta have been the best signings Lyon have made in the last decade, and it is difficult to find anyone who would be close in that debate. He'll be a fabulous addition to the future club he joins. Newcastle's wealth in this window has been well documented, and it has led to difficulties in negotiations with moves for Diego Carlos, Sven Botman and Jesse Lingard all falling by the wayside after the club's hierarchy felt the goalposts were being moved. In Lyon however, Amanda Staveley and the PIF may have finally found a willing seller to help them secure that big name capture. Lyon owner Jean-Michel Aulas is one of French football's biggest mavericks and a notoriously tricky negotiator. The club's statement on Tuesday was a sign that any deal was far from complete. However, Lyon behaved similarly around speculation when Ferland Mendy was on the move to Real Madrid in 2019. It appeared to be a case of history repeating itself. 
It was widely reported that Lyon were open to a substantial offer for Gimmeries, with the club's financial situation not the healthiest. Despite that, Arsenal still didn't move to test their resolve. Elsewhere, there are rumours of Douglas Lewis, Aston Villa's Brazilian midfielder, being the subject of a £30 million bid from a Premier League rival, and he is another Mikel Arteta target. In the cases of both Arsenal and Newcastle, the need for dynamic force in the midfield is key to their hopes for the second half of the season. Newcastle and their supporters will no longer need to look to Google for glimpses of Gimmeries. For Arsenal, the search goes on.